Welcome. Today, we'll explore the case of a 42-year-old woman undergoing a mastectomy for a rapidly growing breast tumor. Over three months, the tumor caused significant chest compression and discomfort in the supine position. After careful evaluation, thoracic spinal anesthesia, TSA, was chosen over general anesthesia for optimal safety and comfort, with informed consent obtained following a detailed discussion of the procedure and its risks. On the day of surgery, TSA was performed at the T5-T6 level using the landmark technique, with prior level marking under ultrasound guidance. After local infiltration, 1.5 milliliters of isobaric 0.5% levobupivacaine combined with 5 micrograms of dexmedetomidine was administered into the subarachnoid space using a 26-gauge quink spinal needle. After performing thoracic spinal anesthesia, sensory levels were checked bilaterally to confirm adequate block coverage. Sensory blockade extended from C6-C7 to T8, providing effective anesthesia while preserving motor function. An assistant supported the large breast during the procedure to minimize discomfort due to its weight. Upon incision, the patient was completely pain-free and comfortable. Optimal sedation was achieved with intravenous fentanyl and midazolam to enhance intraoperative comfort. Following tumor excision, an erector spiny plane block with 15 milliliters of 0.25% ropivacaine was administered for extended postoperative pain relief. The surgery proceeded smoothly and lasted 50 minutes. Recovery was extraordinary. The patient was fully mobile, moving all extremities without restriction, and even shifted herself independently from the operating table to the trolley. Pain was minimal, with a VAS score ranging from 0 to 3, and she required rescue analgesia only 10 hours post-surgery. By the third postoperative day, the patient was discharged, pain-free and without complications. The excised tumor, measuring 25 by 19 by 13 centimeters and weighing 4 kilograms, was sent for biopsy. We prioritized TSA for its reliable and consistent sensory blockade, particularly suitable given the tumor-induced anatomical distortions. Additional chest wall blocks, such as pectoralis or serratus anterior blocks, were avoided as the tumor's distortion of facial planes could have compromised their effectiveness. General anesthesia would have introduced ventilatory challenges and increased intraoperative complexity, making TSA the safer and more efficient choice. TSA was preferred over paravertebral block for its safety and reliability, avoiding risks like pleural puncture and inconsistent sensory coverage. It ensured effective anesthesia and optimal surgical conditions, complemented by ESP for prolonged postoperative pain relief. This case highlights the expertise and precision required in thoracic spinal anesthesia, showcasing its role in achieving excellent outcomes for complex surgical cases while ensuring patient safety and comfort. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating medical insights. Stay tuned, and see you next time.